In this compilation, we're taking you back to 2015, when three top-level pros dominated a poker tournament. Those pros being Ola Shemian from Austria, Johnny Lodden from Norway, and Adrian Mateos from Spain. They all ran deep in the EPT Grand Final, but who came out on top? Find out in this video showcasing their sickest hands. Jonathan Lodnathan. King Jack offsuit and under the gun plus one raise to 20k. The stuffer can it in the small blind. I guess we're hoping if anything he just calls and doesn't three bet. Call. He does call. Stephen Chidwick is in the big blind. He calls as well. Yeah, he's getting a good price once Mustafa called. It's a three-way action. The flop is all spades, and it gives Johnny top pair. Check. Any spades? Mustafa checks. Very spades, spades, spades. spades. King nine seven, all spades. For you, my friend. Okay. No spades. Everyone checks. Totally cool with the check behind. To the turn. Ten Four spades. spades. Four spades. Wow. For spade, I need to bet. Like Jesus, 33. Man, Italians take Catholicism seriously. Chidwick. Folds a small flush. I won? <laughs> no, I'm not sure. I actually really like a fold here. If we call, it's purely hoping that Canet shuts down. Johnny calls. Johnny calls. That's what I said. Uh -huh. Jack of spades on the river. Well, Johnny's playing the board. Maybe Mustafa is too. He checks. Now we're only losing the three cards and probably none of them check the river. There's two straight flushes out there, but a big bet could get the ace and some chops to fold. Johnny makes it 55,000. Not sure that's gonna be big enough. I think a lot of folks are calling with anything here, hoping for a chop. Can it passes? You fall a king high flush? A set that got counterfeited. No. But he did get pushed off a chop. Oh, you have straight flush? Maybe. Did you? <laughs> I didn't, but I maybe. Action at the feature table has been folded to Johnny on the button. He's got deuces. Get out your wallet, Hardigan. He raises to 25k. Queen 10 for Ludovic Gylek in the small blind. He calls. And Adrian Mateos is coming along for the ride with Queen 9. Top pair for Ludo. Checked to Loden. Check. He checks behind. King on the turn. Ludo still has the best hand. Checks again. Mateos now with a gut shot. Also checks. Check. And still no betting action from Johnny. Eight on the river. Gylek bets 11,000. Ooh, what's Mateos doing? He hates little blocker bets because they totally give away the strength of Ludo's hand, probably. So it's a bluff raise to 55,000. And here comes Johnny. That's because Johnny hates raises of tiny little blocker bets because they give away the strength of both people's hands. And you all owe me $50. Johnny re-raises, so he's bluffing one guy and value raising the other. Huh. I'm sure he'd be happy with two folds. Gylix passed. And Mateos, who has queen high, folds as well. Sure the bit is. Sure the bit is. Ah, shows them the deuce. Yeah. Sure the bit is, that's what I said. You've got the bit is there, I'm just so close to snapping. Yes. And hopefully you fold. Nice play, nice play. Thank you. Action on Shemian. King 10 of clubs. Well, that's not going to take long for him to get in a pot, is it? <laughs> <laughs> what a baller. 
34. You heard the man, he's raising. Round to Nozaki, who's got sevens. I know Nozaki has given no you-know-what so far, but he needs to tread lightly against Officer McSwag. Kawichi has called. Johnny Loden has 5-4 off in the big blind. Understandable he wants to defend this, but this is some wishful thinking against these two hands. Three-way to the flop. So, it's second pair and a gut shot for Loden. Nada for Shemian. Nozaki still ahead with sevens. Technically an over pair. Shemian continues, and Nozaki folds the best hand. What in the world? Hey man, sometimes you just have a feeling, I guess. Gotta go with your gut. Sometimes your gut's wrong, but the important part is that Johnny now has the best hand. He calls, and we're going heads up to the turn. Well, Shemian picks up a club draw. Johnny checks for a second time. And after picking up equity, Shemian will fire again. This is why playing against a guy like Ola is so tricky. 140,000. He looks strong, which he could be, but in the interest of balance, he could also be barreling ace and king high hands, trying to get Johnny to fold exactly the type of hand he's got. Johnny calls again. We're going to the river. It's a good call, but he's likely to be facing a big bet on the river regardless of whether or not a club comes. It's the nine of diamonds, leaving Ola Shemian with just king high. And then leaving Johnny with nothing more than a bluff catcher. Johnny checks for a third time. Let's see if Ola gives him something to catch. A bluff, I mean. He's got a clean bill of health as far as I know. Ladies and gentlemen, the clip is being emptied. Shemian fires 245,000. It's not an easy call to make. But make it, he does! Nice. Johnny Loden takes half a million off Ola Shemian. And he takes the tournament chip lead. I agree, Johnny. Good one. But be careful. Ace Jack suited for Ola Shemian. This should be pretty interesting. Two bosses playing fairly boss hands from the blinds. Mm. Use your words, Johnny. Shemian raises. Why? There you go. It's too cheap, man. Ha. Yeah, but enough about Johnny's shirt. He's never folding, by the way. He calls. And these two go to battle again. You can see why Johnny didn't want him sitting next to him. Well, Shemian's still ahead, but with a paired board, there are plenty of chop opportunities. Check, check. And with a jack on the turn, Shemian has Loden drawing dead. The best hand gets besterer. And I believe Ola's going to bet now. He knows he can get a lot of calls from ace highs. Yeah, this is a delayed continuation bet of 58,000. Unfortunately for Johnny, ace high is going to be good here an awful lot. It just isn't. He calls. Well, we know the river is immaterial. For reference, it's the king of clubs. It is a bit of a scare card for both players. Johnny checks. Mm. Ola checks. Ace. No. No good. What? I'm so nutty. And swaggy. Huh? Calling, drawing dead. That's good, Johnny. Well <laughs> <laughs> Is he just 
Jump in with Ace Nine here. Huh? Respect I'm giving it. Uh, Another player on a bit of a heater is Adrian Mateo. So on this hand, we are going to sweat with Adrian. Buenos dias, Adrian. It's our qualifier, Hadi Alasma, who's under the gun. All right, take it easy with the qualifier. We're sweating with Adrian here. Come on. Hadi raises to 56,000. Hmm. Oh, Shemian. Calls. Folded around to Johnny Ludden. He's out. So what does Mateos have? Ace, ten of hearts. It's a good hand. We can't fold, but we also don't really want a three-bet a relative amateur opening from under the gun. He calls, and with Jose Carlos Garcia folding the button, Adrian has position. That's right. We are last to act. Three-way to the flop. Queen, ten, four. Second pair for Mateos. I like it, but I don't love it. Action gets checked around. Totally fine with a the check there. Turn card to the six of clubs. Two flush draws out there now. And here comes a delayed continuation bet from Hadi Al Asmar. The qualifier makes it 56k. That is a pretty small bet. Only Shemian. Raises to 160,000. Now, it's entirely possible Ola's raising because he's attacking perceived weakness. Seems a little crazy to call here, but I think Ola's going to have nothing a lot. Mateos calls. And Elasma calls as well, so still three way as we go to the river. I kind of like him for a draw there most of the time. Eight of spades completes the board. Elasma checks. Shemian. We raise the turn, checks as well. I think our hand is good enough, we can just check. If we bet, I don't know if it'd be a bluff or a value bet. Looks like Mateos is betting. 711,000 in the middle, he bets 435,000. I guess we're trying to bluff out slightly better, like a bad queen. Well, Asmar folds. He had a gut shot on the turn and paired his eight on the river, but no. Ola could definitely hero us with worse, and I'm leaning toward that. The more painful this looks for him. Shemian calls. He has pocket nines. Pipped. Uh, I guess we were value betting. How was the betting for the turn? <laughs> Bet, raise, call. Nice hand. Bet, raise, call. Nice turn. Right. <laughs> Ola Shemian has aces in the small blind. And he limps. Looking to induce. Johnny Lodden with 6-5 offsuit. Johnny's going to take a free flop. Man, how unlucky is that? Hmm. This ain't his first rodeo. Shemian flops top set. Goes to bet. Johnny folds. <laughs> Open it. Open it. Go ahead. Oh, You're in the lead. Bed. I only had three clues. <laughs> Damn it. No action. <laughs> what the f <laughs> waiting for you? <laughs> Ola Shemian in the big blind with Jack 10. Though if he did three bet, he probably wouldn't have to take this flop three ways. Because Ola Shemian's gonna call. Sure enough, so the three big stacks at the table taking a flop. This could get interesting. So, top pair for Shemian, a flush draw for Ferez. Well, some for everybody. Check. Action check to the pre flop aggressor. He checks behind. Everyone's playing this pretty passively. Jack on the turn, Shemian improves to two pair. Al Asmar picks up a gut shot. That is a really bad card for Al Asmar, and he's gonna bet it anyway. 115,000. Not only does he not have the best hand, but there's so many draws out there, it's gonna be super hard for him to fold out weak hands that are better than his. Blue chips are 5,000, yellows are 25,000, the green and blacks are 100,000.
So that's a raise to 390k. And this makes a lot of sense in such a draw-heavy board. You want to get the chips in while you're pretty sure you got the best hand, charge folks to draw. Well, Therese decides to draw, he calls. Alasmar folds. I don't see what else Ferez could really do, but cold calling kind of gives away your hand. Heads up to the river, which is the ace of spades, not flush for Ferez. Shemian still with two pair. And he bets 420,000. Swaggy little blocker bet. This bet's like putting Jack Bauer a suspect in a floor lamp in the same room. It's going to tell him exactly what he needs to know. Perez raises to 1.4 million, sending a very clear message that he has it. And now, just like Jack Bauer at the end of every season of 24, this is where Ola gets away. I call it. What? My world is crumbling. What just happened? Shemian pays him off. I really, I don't even know what to say. Shemian on the button. That's Ace Trey. Probably just taking a second to contemplate the fact that he's about to go all in at the final table of the EPT Grand Final. I'm all in. Yeah, he shoves with his short stack. Johnny Loden passes. Call. Adrian Mateos calls with Ace King. Oh, that is unlucky for all of Buenos dias, Adrian. You have fate. You need fate. You gotta think twice before you give your heart away. Yeah. Boom. Not boom. Wham. Five, four. Deuce. So we're on the verge of losing Olashemian in sixth place. And not much for him on the flop. Mateo's the commanding favorite. He's got two backdoor straight draws. A six on the turn, leaving Olashemian with three outs. He needs a three on the river. It's a deuce. Shemian, the first man out. Man, I don't think anybody saw that coming. Well, Johnny's putting a lot of pressure on himself to do well here. How about we share some of the burden? How about we sweat with Johnny? All right, I'll allow it. Pocket fives under the gun. He raises to 160,000. Adrian Mateos calls in position on the button. Mohadin Ferez in the small blind also calls. I don't need to be rude, but I'm not super worried about Ferez just calling out of the small blind. Adi Alasma, our qualifier is in the big blind. Yay, fun. Everybody's in. You see, when you don't three bet, so much more. Now everybody can win. Set, please. Family pot. And an ace, nine, three flop. Therese checks. Alasma checks. Johnny checks. Free card? Huh? What do you say? Uh. No dice. 275,000 from Mateos. Therese calls. Alasmar folds. He completely missed the flop. So calling would be pretty weird here with a bet and call in front of us, and I know what I would do, but folding's never really been Johnny's thing. Remember, those black chips are 100k a piece. This is a check raised to 715,000. Aha, all right. See, now Johnny did raise under the gun, so he can rep an ace here pretty realistically. He, I mean we, we're repping an ace. Action back on Mateos. He calls. Mohedin Ferez. Faults. He had a nine. Well, we got rid of one hand, and it was better than ours. So heads up to the turn. Four of clubs. Having raised flop, Johnny checks the turn. We're definitely taking an interesting line. Usually we're supposed to keep betting there. 
So Mateos bets 650,000. Now this says to me that Adrian is not too worried about what we've got, but if he had a really big ace, maybe he would have three bet before the flop? No? Johnny calls. And this hand's going to the river. With nearly 3.7 million in the middle, Johnny only has 2 million behind. It's the ace of diamonds pairing the board. That makes it tougher for us to rep an ace, but also it makes it tougher for Mateos to have one. Johnny checks again. Arlene. And the chip leader shoves on Loden. Oh, boy. Calling here and being right is the kind of thing legends are made of, but calling here and being wrong is so stupid and obvious that when you do it, you pretty much die of shame. I think this is a super easy fold, but for some reason, Johnny doesn't agree with me. Johnny knows just how aggressive Mateus has been. I can't even imagine the amount of dynamic and leveling that has been going on for Johnny to be even thinking about calling here. Clearly a tough decision for him. Now that Johnny's so suspicious, I kind of want him to call. Johnny folds. Mateos shows a bluff, Jack High! Oh, he didn't have to show it. Via con Dios. The things could be looking up for him here. He's got ace queen. He raises to 160k. Mohedin Ferez has ace nine. Now we can see Johnny's got Ferez dominated, but sometimes he would be opening with king and queen high. Ferez, three bets to 340,000. Now qualifier folds the big blind. Time to get it in, buddy boy. Oh, yeah. Johnny shoves. And gets called. All right, Johnny, chin up. You're a 70% favorite to double up, and you can't get bluffed on the river. Shark Cage qualifier Karin Bruteig among the Norwegians on Johnny's rail. The flop. is nine high. Oh, come on, give Johnny a break. That is just awful. I don't even know what to say other than rest in peace, Johnny's minibar. He's down to 12% equity. He needs one of the three remaining queens. And he needs to see that queen on the river. I feel awful for Johnny, but hey, this is good for somebody. The river card is a 10. GG. Johnny Lodden falls short again. Ferez can't be stopped. Well, this is a different story than before, eh? Ferez with a six of spades. He raises to 410,000. Mateos has him dominated with ace eight. He shoves on Ferez. Ace on ace, heads up, one player short. This could be for all the monies. Oh, wait, Ferez no. calls! <laughs> and this could be it. He doesn't need an ocho, he just needs no sace. More than half the time, Mateo seals the deal here. Here comes the flop. And there's the Ocho! That is just about gonna do it. It might finally be Ferez Bueller's day off. It could be over on the turn. Spain has been waiting for its first win on the EPT for 11 seasons. And the wait is over! Oh!
Adrian Mateos takes down the EPT 11 Grand Final. And a great showing from amateur player Mohadine Ferez, who finishes second. Buenos dias, Adrian.